I'm going to tell you. He has been so much fun in every way. Um, he's grown a lot. Just tremendously. Uh, he, he, as a matter of fact, first word I'm going to start with is the most improved word because he's overall my most improved student in the whole room. He's grown leaps and That's a big accomplishment. Um, as a matter of fact, he's so improved that he got all A's all year long. He has high on the Um, Miss Candy said that he out has outstanding achievement in music, so he got the music award for Miss Candy. We <laughs> all know that's my favorite and I would ever get it. When I sing Happy Birthday, I actually lip sync Happy Birthday too. Um, excellence, if I could tell you how many times, I, as I walked around, take, uh, as they were giving the slow test, my job was not to see that they were marking correct answers. My job was to see if they were marking them in the right answer in the right answer place. If there was one student in this room who absolutely worked out every single problem on the test, it's John Jr. And if there was one person who underlined all of the important keywords in the question and went back and found it in the text, that was John Jr. And John's slow scores prove that he worked really, really, really hard on that test. I'm really proud of him. One of the things that I do, um, and, and always have since I've taught is, on test days I, I put five dollars on the board, and I give it to student. I, I, I tell them all they're working for it. Anybody who's working hard and trying their best on the test, their name goes in the hat, and so everybody gets equal chance. Um, John was one of my five dollar winners because yeah. his name got drawn out, and, and appropriately so as hard as he worked. Um, his candy bar award is the Butterfinger Award. The reason why he got the Butterfinger Award is because sometimes we all know we let things slip right through our fingers. And sometimes those things that we want the most are the things that seem to slip through. Um, John had times where things slipped through his fingers, but he never, ever, ever let that get him down, and he always kept going, and he kept working until he got what he wanted. So he got the Butterfinger Award not because things slipped through his fingers, but because he kept working until he was able to hold on to. So congratulations.